العرضة النجدية is a celebratory song dance performance prevalent in Saudi Arabia with origins in the Najd region and central parts of the country and is considered a fundamental component of the cultural expressions, practices, knowledge and skills of the Saudi community where it plays an important role. As a communal and participatory event, this performance takes place in cities, villages and Bedouin regions and is an integral part of the local social activities. Here, no distinction is made of the social status, age or professional background of participants. It is not uncommon to find members of the royal family occasionally join in with their fellow countrymen on an equal footing thus demonstrating a social leveling field and rendering the event as a show of unity and at the same time propagating the sense of mutual respect and embracing all participants equally. I'm now I'm now the performance, with its verbal and outright manifestations, recalls an older heritage, consolidates social cohesion, and is considered a crucial part of the intangible cultural heritage, as the sense of identity is reinforced. It is perpetuity exhibits a direct link to forefathers and generations past. Al Arda is usually performed to commemorate the beginning or end of a particular occasion, such as religious holidays, weddings. graduation ceremonies, national occasions, or indeed any event deemed important for the community or group. This celebratory performance art is transmitted from generation to generation, recreating itself each time as it responds in content to the natural surroundings, as well as current events of the particular period in time. Drums used in this performing art are of two types, the takhmir and the tathleef. The circumference of both instruments is covered with colored woolen rattles, usually green, but other colors such as black and brown are not uncommon, and are decorated with intricate dandish tassels. The decoration of the drums is usually done by women. من صغرنا من مدة عشر سنين لنا وحنا نشتغل الشغل نزينة ونخلي العيال يلعبون به وقت عياد وقت فرح وقت Women also adorn the costumes by hand. The embroidery of jackets, such as the farmalia, in particular. The participating males performing al arda carry swords and stand shoulder to shoulder. al arda is of course from the sides. The sides are The participants sing lyrics antiphonally, voiced to them by a poet. Mulaqin, who stands by each row and periodically recites the verse in a loud chanting voice. And who is supposed to generate a spirit of widespread enthusiasm. These poems, called Horaba, comprise of three verses suited in theme to the day's event. Once the performance starts, the first row of men repeat the first hamstick of Mulaqin, which is then echoed by the second row of men. Following the chorus of the second hamstick, the bearers of a takhmir drums strike three double strokes in quick succession, followed by a fourth stroke, on the strike of which the carriers of the tathleeth drums deliver a pattern of one stroke. 
followed by two quick strokes, thus setting the rhythm for Al Arda. At Tathlif, drummers, in addition to striking their drums, perform particular body movements, such as raising the drums high, lowering them beneath their knees, skipping and turning. During the singing, all the performers, participants and dancers rock back and forth, side to side, front to back, and whether they happen to be sitting or standing, move their swords up and down in rhythmic movements as they sway to the beat of drums and swing their swords in harmony with the verses. Whilst the swords are in the upright position, participants would jiggle them quickly, and as one row would raise its swords, the opposite row would have it in a resting position on their shoulders. In certain cases, especially during lengthy performances, some of the performers from both rows would step into the center of Al Arda and walk in a straight line following their leader to eventually form a circle around a Tathlith drummers. In the event that the leader inserts the blade of the sword between his fingers, the performers would follow suit. This particular act is now possible as the swords are made of a thin and flexible metal. It is common during Al Arda for there to be one particular performer carrying a flag in a full costume to accompany the performers. Typically, the words in the final stretch of the poem would celebrate the ending of the entire performance, during which time the men would gather around the flag, chant patriotic verses to demonstrate loyalty and solidarity in an act known locally as Azamia. Community and individual initiatives are the main factors for the representative and livelihood nature of Al Arda. However, since this is a living tradition which is passing through a natural process of transition, attention should be paid to the sustainability of this performance. Therefore, it is significant to pursue the implementation in close collaboration with the communities. Plans will help to shape, consolidate, and underwrite the sustainability of many handlings and modalities stimulated by the community, including transmission, research, documentation, dissemination, and promotion. <laughs> Collaborative work will recognize existing activities and introduce new measures and supervise the implementation of safeguarding measures to avoid the jeopardies of excessive decontextualization and commercialization, which could result from increased visibility. <laughs>